Hi folks, it's Laura from So Very Easy and today I want to talk to you about quilted tablecloths. Do I eat on my tablecloths? Yes. Sometimes. Mostly. Well, let me explain. I love quilted tablecloths. I love the color. I love the happiness they give me when I use them. And I do use them and I do make them to be used. There are some times when I make a tablecloth where it's more going to be for, decor for decoration, but as a general rule, I do eat on my tablecloths, the quilted ones, and that's what I make them for. It's not an heirloom that I'm going to pass down for generations. I know for me, it's just something that's going to make me happy while I use it. I'm okay with that, and I, went, I go in knowing that. And saying that, if I get a stain on it, I'm not overly upset about it. If I get a stain on it, it's just a good memory for the next time that I put the tablecloth out. When I spread it out and I see that stain, that's a memory for me. The other thing I do is when I wash my tablecloths, I just put them in the wash machine and the dryer. I put them on delicate, but I do put them in the wash machine and dryer, but I make them to do that. When I take a tablecloth off of the table, if there is stains on it or something has been spilt on it, I basically just take my dish detergent, which I happen to like Dawn, and I'll just dilute it a little bit, and I'll just squish it on where the spill was. And when I go to put it in the wash, they always seem to come clean. For the odd stain, I'm not worried about it. Generally, the Dawn seems to work for me. You could use Oxy, there's a lot of other things, but I would recommend that you test a small spot on your quilt or even if you have leftover fabric before you try it. You don't really want a big white mark. I've never had problems with Dawn, but you might have a fabric that it doesn't have to agree with. So let me talk to you about my tablecloths. I love my tablecloths, like I said. This one here is especially fun for me. I love the bananas, the fruit, and the different things on it. And it was made to be used, and I do use it. Now, when I use make my tablecloths, and when I decide how I'm going to make my tablecloth, I have to think about how big it is, how the construction is, and how often am I going to use it. This particular one, it has a plain white back on it, and the back is just flannel. So I just put on it this your typical flannel that you'll buy. I give it a good, good wash in the wash machine and the dryer so it gets a pre-shrunk first. And I use that as the back of my quilt. And I don't use a batting. The reason is, is they're easier to wash. It's two layers of fabric. The stains come out easier and they're thinner. So when you set the table, you don't have to worry about glasses falling over and things falling over. But I find also they're a little lighter. Uh, so they're easier to store. As a general rule, when it's a big one, I like to use just a flannel on the back. I've never had a problem with it yet. This tablecloth is my husband's favorite tablecloth. He loves hot peppers. And you can't beat it. How fun is this? I have black dishes and black napkins and sometimes red napkins and it's just so much fun when I set the table especially for every spaghetti and meatballs or some chili or something. So this there was not a lot of construction. You have a big piece in the center with a couple of borders so there's not a lot of piecing involved. It's not a quilt that I've spent a lot a lot of time on so if it gets spilt on I'm all right with it. This one I just took off of my table so there are actually stains on it, and I'm going to show you the stains. If you look at the back very closely, and let me see if I can find it for you. Here in here, do you see that? They're oil stains. Last night, my salad forks kind of didn't stay in the bowl, they ended up on the table. So I did end up with the oil from my toss salad on my tablecloth. You can't really see it there. You definitely can't see it here, 
But before I wash it, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this Dawn on before I put it in the wash machine. And how it is is how it is. The bonus with doing dark colors is you don't normally see the stains. I'm happy with that. This one, I also machine stitched the binding on because I knew this is one I was going to use a lot. I, however, usually hand stitch my bindings on because it's something I enjoy doing. So the process is good for me. Now this actually was quilted with a little bit of batting. The batting I used on this is this Hobbs Fusible. What I love about this is you iron your back and your top and your batting all together in one shot. It's easy to get under the machine. I don't have to worry about pins, needles, puckering. I just can put the foot to the pedal and go. The other reason I like this is because it has cotton and polyester in it. Now I love cotton, but the polyester really does hold up well in the wash when I'm going to use it a lot. I've not had a problem with this. It shrinks a little bit. I like the look of it, so I'm okay with that. So that's this tablecloth, and that's my husband's tablecloth. And as you can see, I had a little bit of fun with the quilting for the back of it. So the next one is this blue one. I have white dishes with this little blue trim on it. They're ever so pretty. So I, I just did this so that it would be a fun one. Again, this is one. It has big pieces on it. And I try to take my seams in the inside and I iron them flat so I don't have any lumps and corners. And that'll help also prevent the tipping of glasses and things going over. So this one again, very simple construction. And on the back of it, I just use a panel. Now this is not a quilt, this is just a panel. So I just was able to use up that little bit of extra fabric and I had fun in the meanwhile. This also was quilted with the hobs and it's got a little bit of puff to it, but not, not too much. This one, yes, yes, I used this and it's so fun. It's so bright and cheery. Now, this one I don't, as a general rule, eat on. Two reasons. It is very light. If I was to spill wine on it, it might be a little bit harder to get off and it would definitely be very noticeable. The second part is there's dimensions in this. I have little bows. These are little dimensional stems. So this is definitely an accident waiting to happen. And it would happen when I put my cup down because it's not flat. I know that when I put something down, this will definitely be when I'm drinking red wine and it will spill on the quilt. But I love it on the table. It's just a good spring one. I really like to pull it out at Easter. But I don't eat on it. I might have maybe... No, I don't even think I would have. I was thinking I might have a piece of cake on it. No, I probably wouldn't because of it being white. Again, I just used a panel for the back. And that sort of just gave me another fun thing to do. This binding was also sewn on by hand and I also put a sleeve on it just in case I wanted to hang it up so I could have something a little bit festive for Easter. So this one I don't eat on it. Now, the next one I call this my happy quilt. Now when I say happy quilt, I mean happy bee, as in the bumblebee quilt. Because the quilting that I did on it actually is a pattern with little bumblebees. So this is my hat bee quilt. I know, it's a little corny. Now, it was my happy quilt because the colors were so happy on it. I mean, how fun is this? I loved having all the mitered corners on it. Okay, I spent far too much time on this for a tablecloth, but boy does it get, make me happy when I'm eating on it. Yes, I do eat on this one. 
I love it. I can set it with just for two people. When I have my girlfriends over or four and we're going to have cake and coffee and I can put different color napkins on. It's so bright and cheery. It just makes me feel happy. So yes, I do use this one, but I knew I was going to use it. I'm okay with that. So far, I've been lucky. I've had no stains. But there is potential. So if it does get stained, I guess I'm just going to be happy and remember the wonderful dinner or the coffee time that we had. This one here was one of the first ones I made for my table. I thought how fun this was going to be. I love buttons. So the corn actually has buttons. The grapes have buttons. Watermelon, actual ball buttons. And of course, the peas have buttons. I thought I was so clever making this because I really got to use the buttons. I really wanted to use it. I thought it would be a wonderful thing to use. I even used this gold color and you know, so it has different golds in it, so if something was spilt on it. But this is one of the ones I'm talking about where if you were to put something on it, you are going to have a tumble. You are going to try to have to figure to wash it. I even put a dark back on it so that I could use it. Oh well. So this one, if I'm going to use, it's definitely one where I'm going to have to pay a little attention where I'm going to put my red wine glass. Those are the couple of things that I take into consideration when and if I'm going to use a tablecloth. So can you eat on my tablecloths? Yes. Sometimes. Most of the time. But not always. Maybe that clears it up a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this time with me. Come back again and we'll find something else interesting to talk about. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.